there was a topic I saw online that people were talking about concerning pretty privilege, right? And um, how it kind of makes people just, you know, they can't believe that like, pretty privilege for some reason. And this person said the following, I've never met a woman that didn't describe herself as a seven. Most people are terrible at assessing their own attractiveness, let alone admitting it, admitting to it. Now, at first, my kind of thinking behind pretty privilege was a little, I wouldn't say archaic, but it was a little bit primitive. In that I thought it was a little bit, del it was a little bit delusional and silly to sit there as a person and say, oh yeah, I'm as hot as Beyonce, I'm as hot as Rihanna, blah, -de blah, 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 right? When you're clearly one. It didn't make any sense to me because I'm somebody who's quite rational, realistic to an extent, but I try to base everything that I do in within reasons, right? As long as it's not outside of the laws of nature or physics, everything is believable, but I'm also sensible in some way, shape or form, right? And I don't kind of entertain nonsense for the sake of nonsense. So I just kind of always kind of put that in that sort of drawer, the nonsense drawer. But as time has gone on and I've tried and I've basically started doing my own thing, started to be creative, started to pursue like a side career as a DJ, doing obviously a bit of the podcasting, writing a blog, taking pictures, um, painting, all these interesting things that I kind of wanted to explore as a maybe career going forward. You kind of have to sit there sometimes and think to yourself, you know what, it is quite delusional for me myself to sit here with my 13,000 subscribers with my 5,000 downloads per month on audio with my um 100 something views on the video here and there sometimes 60,000 views 60 views sorry right it's quite weird for me to sit here and legitimately think that I could somehow someday be as big as Joe Rogan right it's delusional to think that it's also delusional to think that what I have to say is worth anyone's while, right? Like what I have to say has any sort of value to the world. What I have to say is adding anything to the conversation or that anybody is waiting with bated breath for my opinion on on whatever random topics happening in culture. It's delusional. But I think it's important. I think it's important to be somewhat delusional like, because it allows you to wake up in the morning and to pursue your dreams. Because if you weren't delusional, your dreams wouldn't make sense. Why would you think? you playing football in some concrete cage somewhere around the corner could maybe get you to someday playing on the same pitch as Lionel Messi. Why would that Why would that even cross your mind? But we've seen many, many, many stories, countless stories, especially with Messi nowadays or Ronaldo because they're, they're playing into their like late 30s. We've seen so many stories and instances of them taking pictures with little kids who are like playing youth team football and then suddenly, you know, you roll on, you know, 10, 20 plus years and that kid now is, a, is an adult and he's playing on the same pitch as Cristiano Ronaldo or Lionel Messi or some kid that was taking a picture of himself playing in some local cage somewhere and now suddenly he's playing for a professional football club. It happens all the time. And the reason that stuff happens is because somebody was delusional enough to believe that their little star, that small place that they were at beforehand would maybe get them closer to their dreams that they wanted to eventually get to. And because usually it's a dream. A dream is what it is, right? It's far-fetched, something a little bit um, out there that you can't really um, grasp. But it's meant to be something that you can kind of picture in your head and you kind of aim for. But you need to start from a point of delusion to get yourself ready to go out in the morning to try and practice whatever you want to do which kind of harkens back or links back to, I think, to this beauty standard thing or pretty privilege. Nowadays, pretty privilege and this kind of delusion that you're as hot as, you know, Rihanna, which I've always said, one of the most illuminating things to me that happened a very long time ago was that I was at a bar, I was at a nightclub actually, called The Yard in Hackney Wick. It's a really great place. It's like an alternative theatre space, club space. They host really cool parties. Usually um, they always try and host alternative parties. One time I saw a clip of them hosting a really amazing pop punk um, rave, which again, London's the best in terms of nightlife. We have the best range of music, in terms of musical genres. Maybe we don't go as long as Berlin, you know, we don't have the, the great time schedule and the security is a bit crazy and the drugs are horrible and the people can sometimes get a bit aggy. But when it comes to the music genres, in terms of the, the scope and the range, we, we, no one can beat us. Anyway, this place in the yard, they had a party there. I went, it was fun. I got talking to some random people outside the smoking area. I got, you know, doing what I usually do and holding court and, you know, bringing up topics and stirring debate. And somehow I asked some of the girls I was talking to, I was like, oh, do you believe that if you had all the money in the world that you could look as hot as Rihanna? And the reason why I use Rihanna as a hotness because personally, forget I'm a I'm a fucking crusty looking guy and talking through a webcam on a USB microphone. Don't listen to what I'm saying, right? But for me, the reason why I said Rihanna because I don't think Rihanna is like, like plainly wise is like the most super, super, super attractive person. 
But what she has is incredible, like, sex appeal and it factor. Again, she looks amazing, don't get me wrong. But the reason why I use Rihanna as an example is because I feel like her kind of sex appeal and it factor is something that you can't attain. You can maybe look like her if you want to, but that sort of cool, that swag, that just that kind of posture the way she walks in the heels like there's something about her that you can't sort of like you can't um bottle up and put in a pill it's impossible to do so but she's not maybe conventionally okay this woman is stunning in like a megan good way sort of way do you guess what i mean i don't know if that makes any sense so that's why i use her as an example and all girls said yes they all said yes i could look as hot as rihanna or as sexy as rihanna if i had enough money and i thought that was insane that you girls are in nuts out of your mind now in the modern era they might have a point because if you look at someone like a Kylie Jenner not to pick on the collections all the time but a Kylie Jenner is a good example we've all seen that picture of Kylie Jenner hanging around with like I think she's with Tyler the creator and somebody else it's like an old picture they're in LA somewhere I think Tyler's on a bike or I don't know someone else is there it's like that kind of picture right um they're sort of like you know the new generation of LA kids just hanging around doing their thing and Kylie's pre-lip injections and she's pre you know whatever this version of her is at the moment it's just wearing regular clothes regular kind of white girl clothes and she looks so normal looking it's unbelievable Consider what she looks like now, right? She just looks stunning. You go for her Instagram profile, it's just like, you know, stunning square after stunning square after stunning square, a cute baby picture and all that sort of stuff and money. Like, just looks incredible. But she looks so average and normal there. They made me think, you know what? I'm, I think that delusion is, is kind of rooted in some sort of reality. Because the truth of the matter is, if you have a good surgeon, if you have a good diet, if you have a good self-discipline if you have a good work ethic if you can work out a little bit go to a gym or whatnot and you can couple it up with some alterations and some help and enhancements in plastic surgery you could probably look as good as rihanna and look as good as and look as good as um kylie jenner 100 percent. so pretty privilege doesn't really become a thing anymore because it essentially means everyone can be hot at to some extent there is no such thing as ugly anymore. Maybe you might choose to be ugly. You might choose to accept your reality and just, you know, whatever and stay where you need to be or stay where you are in that current point. But if you want to enhance yourself, there are so many options out there. Like I, for the longest time, want to get my teeth done. Crazy. And people say, oh, you got great teeth. No, no, no. But I always want to get them done. So I want to get like a, a Gucci main sort of type grill. And I've always said what, what I want to do is I want to go and get it, go to Turkey, get my teeth done and come back and act like nothing happened. <laughs> yeah, Just act like the girls and pretend like, you know, I didn't get a boob job. That Oh, no, I'm just putting a bit of weight. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm accepting my curves. You know, that sort of nonsense. That's what I'm, I'm going to do. But that sort of stuff getting your teeth done, having a facial as a guy, maybe having a beard and having it cut away to make you look like you've got cheekbones or a jawline, working out so you've got like a good chest and arms and whatnot, maybe getting shirts that fit maybe you properly, wearing trousers that are the right length of your leg, da 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 All this stuff can really take you from like a four to like an easily a six. Easy with a guy. Now, your enhancements aren't as good as women because women have the best enhancements when it comes to makeup. It's just, you know, that can take you from like a zero to a 10 immediately. But there is an ability to do so. So sometimes I think to myself, does pretty privilege even, does, sorry, does pretty privilege even exist? Is that even a thing if we can all be hot? There is no thing as pretty privilege anymore. Like supermodels, um, Victoria's Secret models, um, Instagram models, um, OF girls, all this stuff. Are they really that special? If you could, if you want to, take all your money from work and every month enhance one bit about yourself or just keep topping yourself up and with, with whatever you want to top up, whether it's Botox, blah de blah right? And to, to get to the point where you start to look incredibly stunning and then guess what What happens then in life? Usually the hotter you look, the less work you end up doing, <laughs> yeah? So you end up going to do an OF, opening an OnlyFans, sitting on stream and just ranting into a camera like, and just being tipped and donated money and shit like life really gets rosy for you like it, it you know you start to come you, you look hotter and suddenly life is in technicolor all over again so i don't i'm not really sure if pretty privilege actually exists i don't know what do you guys think does pretty privilege exist do you think if you got all the money in the world guy or girl that you could look as hot as a rihanna you could look as hot as a i don't know I don't know, whoever the hot guy is out at the moment, David Beckham, maybe somebody else is the hot guy. Um, no, what's his name? T Timothy Chalamet. Like, do you think you could look as hot as that if you were able to get all the, you know, you had all the money and the access to designers and stylists and dermatologists and all this sort of stuff? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts because I honestly think pretty privilege doesn't exist. It's gone. If, if we can all be hot, 
what does hot even mean? What, what currency does it? You know what I mean? Like maybe that also explains why a lot of these influencers and celebrities are not showing us any material goods anymore. Haven't you noticed there's been a real uptick in celebrities showing you, don't get me wrong, the whole Birkin thing happened for a bit, but for the most part, you see a lot of people showing you they're going to Aspen, they're going to Cabo, um, they're riding camels, they're on jet skis. You're seeing a lot more of that than you are seeing people, oh, here's my row of Rolls Royces. Here's my Ferrari. Here's my private jet. People are showing you more like, yeah, even private jets, people are showing you their feet or them sitting in a chair as opposed to them outside of the private jet. They're like, oh, I'm going somewhere. I'm going on a trip. My passport is stamped up. Or oh, one one picture I saw actually, which was interesting. It was like it was like a bunch of um black girls. Um, I would call them IG baddies, right? And they had like amazing manicured hands, great diamonds all over it, and they're all in the circle with their passports and showing everyone's passport, like you know, in a circle. And it's like, oh, that's a flex now. A flex isn't so. Before there would be the same girls who would have sat in a circle showing off their perfect pedicures and their amazing heels, but now they're all there with their manicure holding a passport um you know some in, in really de swanky designer passport holders but mostly just saying hey my passport stamped up i'm on the way to somewhere you know luxurious somebody flew me out all this stuff so who knows main pretty privilege is not existing it's not a thing i don't know let me know in the comments down below i'd love to know your thoughts and feelings about that one